Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Sunday, happy mini release day, and hopefully a day where EA steps up the level of content on FIFA 23 because we have a big SBC expiring. Could EA be replacing that with something new today? I want to take a look at that and the confirmed... Uh, aspect that we are getting a mini release today we don't know all the players that are inside of it but there are still two leaked cards that we haven't seen yet and ea legit told us themselves we are getting a mini release today on sunday so i want to look towards that and what could happen on the market as yesterday was a bit of a slow day we had a showdown sbc and that was just about it between ferran torres and ziech so in nice cards here nothing super crazy but upgrades are needed right to make these guys look really really good i think most people are happy about the ferran torres if he were to get upgraded with spain the favorites of course to win this game he would be looking pretty nice with a plus two, probably 90 pace, close to 90 dribbling. So that could be a nice card. So a decent SBC there for an okay cost. But I want to look at the rest of the market today because as we expected yesterday, a lot of the World Cup stories card prices dropped down a lot. We talked about that potentially happening because they started off way too high. And that has happened. A lot of players are down in price. So I want to take a look at that. Could there be some low buying opportunities on the market? Maybe at some point today on Sunday. Potentially. So we'll talk about that in this video and more. If you're excited for it, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's get into, again, the EA needs to drop a little more content, right? A lot of people are like, guys, this content's not that great. They're not too happy about it. That's the comments that I'm seeing down below in the comment section. And I understand it, right? Now, we know that today on Sunday, we're at least going to get some new cards and packs because EA have told us here there's going to be a mini release on Sunday, December 4th. Um, it does not say if that is going to include just the World Cup Stories cards or if it's going to include icons as well. I really hope that it's going to include icons because right now we just have so few icons in this Team 2 in packs. It's so underwhelming compared to Team 1. Like literally it's half of a team of what we should have in packs. I mean, you look at Team 1 and we had all of these guys in the impacts plus other ones that were in the mini release that aren't even shown in this team like Zemprata and others right and Pele I think so this World Cup 2 team having this few uh, number of icons is a definite L but are EA saving some of the other icons for a team 3 that we don't know but let's focus on the story cards first right we have got of course a nice set of story cards and packs right now but there are a couple more that we expect to see. Laporte was one of the leaked cards that we saw last week. He has not been dropped on the game yet. This is a card that we expect to see today on the game. An 80 pace Laporte center back card. Usable, right? It's kind of like Simon Kiar. They upgraded him with a lot of pace to make him usable. Another card we expect to see today is Xhaka. I think these are the only two leaked cards that we have not seen yet in this story's promo. So Xhaka and Laporte and probably, I would assume, one other, maybe two others for the World Cup stories cards that should be in packs today. EA didn't tell us. They just said that there is going to be a mini release today on Sunday. Now, thinking about the icons again, the fact that we need more icons, there are so many that are added into the game, right? We've talked about this. You can actually search them on the transfer market. Guys like Garincha, guys like Dog Leash, guys like uh, Mateus, right? There's, the, I think, a handful. Cannavaro, Stoichkov. Um, we don't have Lineker yet. We don't have Haji yet in the game. So there's a handful, five, six more of these icons that are not in packs yet. If EA were to drop those today as a mini release, that would be pretty cool as well. I really hope that they don't stretch out these World Cup icons into three different teams. If they don't drop any icons into packs today and leave us with like those last few that I just mentioned, and maybe they're going to wait until next week with the promo on Friday to release those into packs, that would just, that'd be like too long. Like hopefully they just drop them today and we don't have to worry about it anymore. We have all of the World Cup icons in the game. That would be very, very nice. But we'll just have to see uh, because we don't have any confirmation on that. So watch out for leaks today because I would assume that there would be some leaks talking about what could be in packs today. If there's any new cards, what to expect there. So watch out for that. But besides that, today on Sunday is a bit of a question mark. The only other SBC leak that we have, and we've talked about this, is a World Cup Icons Puyol that could drop as an SBC um, either today, tomorrow, sometime soon. I would expect that to drop. But that's not going to be a super hype SBC regardless. Unless EA make it super cheap and give them a crazy, crazy stat upgrade, which is a bit unlikely, you know, seeing the other World Cup icons that we have seen. But where I think there's a little bit of potential today is this SBC expiring. And this is the last of all of those crazy Black Friday upgrade packs, like the 87 plus icon. We have this 86 plus hero, the mixed campaign and the year in review, right? All those are gone. They've expired, right? They're gone away. 
Could this SBC or another type of gamble pack, if you will, be coming back today? I think there's a slight chance of it today, but specifically tomorrow, I think that chance is really, really real. Again, might be that EA is looking to get back on their normal schedule of dropping the big Monday upgrade packs and the gamble packs, right? With either a foot hero or an icon or some sort of party bag type SBC. Maybe that's tomorrow, but I mean, technically it could be today because this SBC goes away today. Now, with the 86 foot hero SBC going away today, there is one specific part of the market that I want to look at because it's the only part of the fodder market that has stayed up in price. And that are the 85s, right? 85s are still 11,000 coins a piece. And it's specifically because of that SBC requiring an 83 uh, squad with a bunch of 85 rated required inside of it. I think it's like two or more. So 85s are still up, right? 10K, 11K. Yes, that is high for 85s. My guys that invested in 85s a couple weeks ago at 7K that waited forever for them to go up. They finally went up. This is your last chance to get out in my opinion. Opinion. I do believe the 85s will go back down under 9,000 coins, maybe to the eight, maybe to the under eight. If we don't have any other SBC today to replace that hero upgrade pack. Now we'll have to see where that ends up going and what SBC, if we get one would drop today, because if they re-release the same thing, then those cards are probably going to stay high and maybe even go a little bit higher with that fresh demand. But for the rest of the fodder market, I like the opportunity to invest. I really do. 84s in the low 2K range are great. 86s, 13K, if you can get them a little cheaper on bid, that's great. 87s, don't really like those a ton, I can't lie. I like 88s way better than 87s because if they do any of the 85 or 86 rated squads, a lot of times they're doing these 88 overall and higher requirements, right? We've seen that so many times this year, and that's the type of requirement that makes fodder move. So I know that 88s aren't really like low. In the grand scheme of things, 25, 26K for 88 rated cards is not low by any means. But if you can snag a couple of these, we do have squad battle rewards today that could bring a little bit of tradable supply to the market. I think these cards, the 88s are a decent pickup. Just do a club stock. I wouldn't go crazy ham, like, you know, buying and investing a ton unless you want to risk it a little bit. But I think right now, is a decent time for a club stock because I just can't imagine a week on FIFA upcoming without another type of gamble pack SBC. We just came off of a huge Black Friday promo with multiple of these SBCs out, and we're just in that time of the year where EA are dropping these sorts of SBCs. They're gonna try to drain our clubs, they're tr gonna try to put these gamble packs out so that we can drain our clubs and then buy packs on the weekend, right? That's what they want us to do. So, you know, this SBC going away, I expect some other sort of SBC like this to drop either today or tomorrow. That's why I think fodder in between the 84 to 88 range, even the 91s, right? We talk about the 91s a lot. Anytime there's like an 87 or an 88 squad as a part of any SBC, these guys go up, right? The messy SBC has expired. It is, it is no longer out. It's no longer here. But 91 rated cards, I would love to, to tell you guys to get them. Um, if the market would not have to reset every time I search, that would still be fantastic too. But I, I would I would tell you guys, try to get these under 50K if possible, which I think is very possible at the moment. Yeah, Benzema is sitting at 49K. So on bid is even better, of course, with the squad battle rewards. Or maybe if they run some more lightning rounds today and we don't get any sort of gamble pack SBC. I think that part of the market is prime for investing and prime for stocking your club because um, I know we have lightning rounds going on right now, but these are untradeable. We have some, we have many of these tradable packs that are still in the store, but a lot of the lightning rounds uh, that they've been running in the late night hours have been untradeable. So we should get some more tradable supply today with the squad battle rewards. And you know, the weekends are always the time to look in, into buying the fodder because then we get after the weekend on the Monday to Tuesday, well, starting Sunday, but Sunday to Thursday is kind of like our gamble pack days most weeks under the normal EA schedule. So that's why I think fodder is a really good stock at the moment. Now, let's take a look at the World Cup stories cards and talk about the market because in yesterday's video, I was telling you guys that I expected these prices to go down and that is exactly what has happened. It just made sense because we started day one. These cards were too expensive right out of the gate because they're just wasn't much supply. And if we take a look at literally all of these cards that are in the World Cup Stories promo, I think every single card from this promo team has dropped in price from where it was 
on Friday. Rashford's now under a million coins. There was plenty of fluctuation with these cards yesterday. I bought Danny Alves at 260 and sold him at 270 right before the content drop. I kind of bought him like right in here, sold him about right in here, about 285 to 290. He went back down, and I think he even did like 260, 263, 259. He's back up to 270. These cards do fluctuate a lot since they're pretty rare, but I still think that a good amount of these cards are a bit expensive, right? Bruno Fernandez, 500k. Richarlison being 560k, I mean, still, this one baffles me, to be completely honest. I know we had a crazy, crazy spike off of rarity during the day yesterday, um, but this card with the ones to watch that was almost a free item, you know, at the beginning of the game, being not that far off from this version, I think that this one for 500k is a bit extravagant, but it is what it is. Marco Asenjo, 212, he's down for sure. Um, you know, Van Dyke got a price range update. I don't know if you guys saw this or not. He was actually on the market today for a little bit of time. He went from 1 million coins up to 1.5, and he is still extinct. Which, to me, if you're comparing this Van Dyke card to another center back in this game that is 1.4, 1.5 million coins... You're comparing it to Lucio, and with Lucio, I think Lucio is the better card, but evidently this VBD has enough hype where he is on par with Lucio, and if you look at their stats, they're not far off. They're, they're really not. They are pretty close statistically, and VBD is a very overpowered center back in this game, but 1.5 mil at this stage of the game, of the market, um, if you have that card, I would sell it. I would take the 1.5 mil or hope that EA update the price range again so that you can sell that card for more and then get out of it because I don't think this VBD is going to last at 1.5 mil uh, for too much longer. I mean, that's just, that's how I feel. But anyways, um, that is a very hyped up center back card at the moment. The rest of the promo team, like we said, Rabio was 110. He's now 82K. I think you'll see some more price drops today. I really will. I mean, you're like, Nate, Gareth Bale with this cracked of a card going under 100,000 coins. Guys, it's the links, right? It's the MLS links that really hurt this Gareth Bale card. Yes, he's really cracked. Yes, he's very usable and insane, but it's the links that hurt him. People value chemistry. So I think you'll see, as you normally do, some more of these prices drop down today. I would expect lightning rounds. They've been, they dropped the lightning rounds yesterday. They dropped them on Friday, of course. So I would expect to see some more lightning round supply uh, today as well on Sunday. So watch out for that. Maybe in a low Sunday night time frame, there might be an opportunity to flip these cards heading into Monday morning. Of course, this all does depend on whatever content we get today on Sunday. But if we don't get much, these cards continue to drop down. It might be a really good flipping opportunity for some of your more popular cards and maybe even some of the more rare ones. You know, Rabio would be a card you want to keep a close eye on. There's a lot of hype around this Rabio card. I know he's 82,000 coins, but he's Hullet Gang, and he's one of the first Hullet Gang cards in this game that is pretty easily attainable. Only 80K for an all 80 stats card, right? There's a lot of hype there with this card. Even though I think he's just decent, uh, 80K for this, there's a lot of love for him right now in FIFA. So keep a close eye on a card like that late Sunday night tonight into tomorrow when we get Weekend League rewards given out People go and buy teams. And that's what I want to talk about even for today on the market. When people see, when people get rewards, they just go out into the market and they buy cards. That's something that we've seen pretty consistently with rewards periods. Not so much with division rivals, but specifically with squad battles and specifically, specifically with weekly rewards. So as I look at the market today, there wasn't a lot of movement. Um, from Friday night into Saturday. There's a lot of these World Cup Stories cards that went down. A couple cards had some fluctuations that went up a little bit. But if you take a look at even some gold cards, like Vinny Jr. Uh, from Friday night was 49,000 coins and into Saturday dro dropped all the way down to 43K, which is kind of where he is right now. Some of these gold cards, I mean, a lot of the low tier market has potential to move today, in my opinion, after the squad battle rewards release is, is put out. I mean, I'm not saying that I'm expecting Vinny Jr. to go back up to like 55K and have a huge, huge rise, but could Vinny go from 43 to like 47 or 48K, just enough for a couple thousand coins profit a card? Maybe. Could a guy like Mendy or Teo Hernandez move up a little bit today? Maybe a Joao Cancelo, you know, still being a card that a lot of people want, want to link together in their teams. I mean, he went from 36K to 38K yesterday, then down to 35, so... There could be a bit of fluctuation with the gold cards today. If you're trying to trade with anything, I would say look through the market and try to find a spot where there were movements yesterday. And if there were movements yesterday, you would hope that there would be some more hype for some movements today. I do believe that Simon Kiar 
the Denmark center back went from 24K up to 26. So again, not really big of a, a spike there, but that tells me there's a little bit of hype. And maybe if there's some more hype into today as people get some rewards, this guy's the cheapest that he's been yet. 15K for a card that is like you never use ever in FIFA. It's it's kind of one of those like, hey, this is fun. Let me go try this Kiara center back card and go give him a shot. So that's a card that maybe could move up a little bit today. I wouldn't expect it to be too much, but honestly, it just kind of feels like we're just grasping for opportunities to trade in the quick flip cards. Yesterday, I, I sold some stuff for some W's, sold some stuff for some L's. I probably broke even on the day. I bought those Essentios last time in the video. Now, you know, I bought them at like 250, 260. That's kind of where I sold them as well. I woke up, he didn't move. I sold them before he went down to like 210. There's the Danny Alves that I sold and uh, traded with. I traded with the Gareth Bale, made like 2K there. I bought a Blanc, I made like three or 4,000 coins there. So not a whole lot going on with that side of the market at the moment. Now, one thing I do want to check out is PTG cards really quick too, because of course you have games that have happened. Of course, USA and Australia going home because of the games yesterday. Really proud of the USA guys for how they played this whole tournament. It was fun to watch for sure. But these card prices are down, of course, as they are no longer live, right? And of course, on the other side of things, you've got the Argentinian lads like Romero and Gomez that are up. Uh, and De Young that are up because they won, right? So De Young and Gomez are now, and, and, and Romero, they're slated to get another upgrade. But again, these upgrades are not going to go live for whoever won their games to move on into the quarterfinals from the round of 16. So the Netherlands and Argentina as of right now, these upgrades do not take place until December 7th in the early morning hours. So it's going to be a couple of days before these guys get upgraded. But of course, that's locked in for Gomez that is locked in for Kuti Romero and De Young. So if you have these guys, unless the market goes crazy the next couple of days, you're probably holding on because all the rage and all the hype is with these cards for their upgrades. So the PTGs are flying. Now Pulisic, to look at that card specifically, this is a card that honestly, if you take a look at the games played and we use that metric all the time, this is something that I would like to show you guys really fast is when you look at a card and try to figure out a card that's really, really good to invest in, when you see, like later on in the week after it's been a couple days of their in packs, you kind of look at their card and you see how many games have been played, right? If you take a look at Pulisic, 180,000 games played. Footbin calculate, calculates this based off of how many cards are on the market and it just sums all of the games that have been played from those cards. Take a look at that, right? You saw you saw Pulisic, 180,000 games played. Compare that to arguably the most hyped card that is in the team as well, 227 to Bruno Guimaraes. Not far off, right? Really not that far off. Kuti Romero, a crazy expensive card right now, only 62,000 games played. I actually think that uh, the Pulisic card is the second most used card that is in this team. 187 for Lozano. So Lozano is right there with him too with that pace meta, right? But even without the live card aspect, this is a Chelsea left wing, right wing player that you can use in your squad. His card after the game yesterday dropped off a lot. And if you timed this right, you could have got yourself a Pulisic for the squad at about 50K. He went to, I believe, like 47,000 coins. He's rising back up very nicely because this card has true demand even outside of the upgrading live aspect of this card, right? It's a Premier League midfielder that can play on, or winger that can play on each side. He's got the pace. He's four-star, four-star. So that's a card that I think is uh, a good example. Araujo is another good example of a card that is no longer live, but with the hype of just being usable, you see a really big post-game sell-off, but then you see a spike. I believe it was Friday, right? Yeah, he went down to 77K. And he's back to almost 100,000 coins. And I would imagine that the Ferran Torres hype with this SBC on Barcelona links is helping him out a little bit. So keep an eye on that as we continue to go through the tournament. We've got more games today, of course. France, Poland, England, Senegal. Watch, I mean, out of all of those, of course, if France were to lose, that'd be, an, that'd be in a crazy, crazy happening. Same thing with England, right? But, you know, I think of a Koulibaly card, a Prem center back. We might get another Prem center back today with Laporte, of course. But this is just, a Koulibaly's cards are always rare, and they're always good in FIFA. I, I used his gold card for a, lo a long time earlier this year, 386k. If Koulibaly and Senegal were to lose and get knocked out of the tournament today, which is probably the favored outcome, I would imagine that this card would probably dip into the 250k range. Like, it would probably drop off a pretty considerable amount. But then after that, maybe even not, maybe not even that low, maybe like 275 to 300. 
I would expect to see it rebound back up a little bit from wherever the low point is. It'll probably rebound because again, the links and just because of this card in game being a really, really good item. So that's something to watch out for as we head through the rest of these games. Watch for those Path to Glory live cards of players and nations that end up going out of the tournament because these guys are still very very hyped and very usable in game and people want to buy them up after they lose and become no longer live items because there'll be a ton of panic selling post game but there's still natural demand there for people to have those cards in their team so that's just one thing i'd tell you guys to watch out for today i'm going to trade a little bit with some of these cards uh rashford yesterday was a really good flip he went down to like 980 right around content time where he is now he shot up to about 1.1 .1. Uh, Richarlison had the crazy fluctuation. Bruno Fernandes didn't move that much. But I'm going to keep an eye and keep a close eye on some of these maybe icons. Maybe some of the gold cards like we talked about. That low budget today might be flipping in some of those around the content time. Set. We'll just have to see. right? We'll just have to see what EA dropped. But stock the fodder in the club if you would like to do that. I need to go out and do some of that myself right now is in stock some of that fodder. And then we'll just cross our fingers that EA drops some good content today on a Sunday. Maybe a hero pack, maybe an icon pack. And if not today, then we'll look forward to it tomorrow. But if you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. Happy Sunday. Best of luck with your foot champs games if you're playing. And I'll see you tomorrow. It's been Nathan Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.